Charles Malunga was laid off years ago. He used to work for Zisco Steel, which was once one of Africa's largest steel factories. Charles is now a part-time handyman in his neighborhood. He says not being able to properly provide for his family is humiliating. We've been living from hand to mouth uh, most of the days. And some nights we could go uh, without eating a uh, dinner or a meal. And you know, it's so hard for a father not to supply for his family. You know, so it's been hard from 2008 up to today. The steel factory where Charles worked is now an industrial graveyard. It used to employ more than 5,000 workers and produced 1 million tons of steel annually. Now Zimbabwe imports $400 million worth of steel every year. President Emerson Mnangagwa is under pressure to deliver. His administration insists it is making progress, repairing relations with Western powers and international financial institutions. What we've been sold by this government is the promise of change, that although they've been part of the old regime, they seem to be committed to some form of change and some traction. And also to be fair, out of the 83 promises, we've seen traction around 33 issues. But opposition politicians say not much has changed in the 100 days since Manangagwa took over from Robert Mugabe. So you missed that opportunity by uh, uh, failing to frame a government that was consistent with the aspirations of the people. So from there it has been uh, downward. Now it's business as usual. The public is very uh, skeptical. Reviving dilapidated infrastructure needs foreign direct investment. The U.S. has extended targeted sanctions for another year, saying not much has changed since Manangagwa took over. The sanctions were imposed nearly 20 years ago for alleged human rights abuses. Economists warn this could scare away potential investors. Industry experts say real economic recovery could take at least three years. Right now, people can't access money from banks, and the unemployment rate is one of the highest in the world. After years of neglect, some roads are getting a facelift. Some people say that's a small positive sign. But political analysts say the road to real economic recovery in Zimbabwe will be long and bumpy. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Harare.